Well, looks like I got ripped off on my recent purchase of Felco pruners that I purchased through Amazon. In today's video, I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the real versus the fakes so that this doesn't happen to you. And I just want to warn everybody to be cautious if you are purchasing these pruners online. Anything of value, really, you always run the risk of getting a counterfeit item. But if the price is too good to be true, it probably is. And in this case, the ones that I purchased on Amazon were nearly half the price that you'll find at a local nursery. And a quick shout out to Pavel Falenko, a viewer of the YouTube channel. I really do appreciate you bringing this to my attention. It was a recent video that I made showing some of the gardening tool essentials that I use on a daily basis. He pointed out that my Felcos were in fact counterfeit. I was a bit skeptical of the comment at first, but upon closer inspection and doing some comparing online, I was able to verify that, yes, in fact, these were not real Felcos. And after going down to a local nursery and buying the real deal and comparing them side by side, they're really not even close. So from afar, they look almost exactly the same. But the Felcos on the left are the fakes. The ones on the right are real. So let me slide both of these out of the packaging. We'll take a closer look at the pruners. So the first thing that sticks out, in fact there's many things that stick out all at once, but I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up, but the grips on the handle of the real pruners have a bright red color to them, and the fake ones have a darker color. If you look close at the real Focos, you can see these little striations on the hardened steel. And you also see these two dots, part of the construction of the tool, and the one dot here on the actual blade. Let me open it up. Now if you look at the fakes, you don't see any striation on the body. It's rather a little like pimply, a little bumpy. Um, the blade itself has a bit of striation, but you can see right away it's got this black Phillips head screw in the blade where the reels just had a dot. We'll open it up. We're also missing the two dots here that are on the real pruners. The next thing we're going to look at is the locking mechanism. And you can see you've got a nice smooth nut here holding the locking mechanism together. Whereas on the fake, it looks really bad actually. Not smooth at all. It's just a bolt coming through there. Not even close. And then we got these Phillip screws on the other parts of the mechanism where here you got flathead. Also when these arrived this locking mechanism was really loose something you're not gonna probably see coming from the real deal. These were nice and tight and obviously checked before being shipped out. Next let's look at the logo which is stamped into the metal. On the fakes this Felco is all the way over to the edge it's actually encroaching into the edge and this is almost I mean you can feel a little bit of indentation but it's just barely indented the logo on the real focos are much further to the right almost in the center and it's a very deep noticeable stamp there's more stamping on the other side so again with the fake a really shallow stamp almost hard to read and with the real pruners a much deeper stamp just looks authentic. Let's compare them side by side so you can see the difference. Also you can see on this side the real pruners have three dots there. It's part of the construction whereas this one just has one. This also has a nice smooth rounded bolt holding it together and this one is kind of chunky and faded. The blade on the real Focos is all one color and on the fake you've got a two-tone. Also you can see this really shoddy craftsmanship here of the bolts coming through. When over here you've got a nice smooth finished product. So they did it backwards. They actually two-toned on the blade and not on the cross section here where the real Focos have a two-tone on the cross section and not the blade. All right. Next, let's look at the packaging, okay? 
The fake Felcos came with this plasticky feeling backboard here, which just has some general information, but it doesn't open up. It's just a piece of plasticky cardboard. The real Felco packaging actually opens up and is a booklet. Has a bunch of information, breakdown of all the different parts. And it doesn't have that plasticky feel. Also in the packaging of the reels came this little wrench, which can be used to tighten up some of the bolts. The pasture on the reel packaging is also lighter in color and it's got this info tab there letting you know there's information in here. This one's missing the info tab, it's just a darker color. It's not even the same picture. The reel packaging also shows the dimensions of 25 millimeter by one inch and there's nothing here on the face. You turn it over and you can see, and this is common with uh, fake counterfeit items, this has almost got a blurry look to it. The image and everything is kind of shoddy. I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up, but this is very crystal clear. In conclusion, I just want to add that I'm in no way upset with Amazon over this. I think they're a great company. They always resolve any issues that come up with an order really fast. I'll get my money back on this. With that being said, I would recommend that if you are going to purchase a higher-end pair of pruners like Felco's, that you do your best to find those at a local nursery. I'd call around first. I actually had to go to three different nurseries in order to find a supplier of the Felco's. And lo and behold, it was one of my favorite nurseries that had it in stock, Orchard Nursery in Lafayette, California. So the seller of these fake Felco's through Amazon went by the name Kenan Kokoraco. And it looks like maybe his storefront was already shut down because now when I go to the product link for these uh, pruners it actually says ship and sold by Amazon and it looks like they even changed the pictures to reflect uh, what the real pruners look like I'm not absolutely sure whether or not uh, he was showing the real pictures when he sold these or not but things have changed through the Amazon site you might be able to get the real ones at a good price through Amazon but uh, do it at your own risk and there's probably more than one manufacturer of fake Felcos, but at least this video is going to help you get a look at what the real ones look like. So you can make all those comparisons. And so with that, I want to wish everyone a great rest of your day. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.